By now we all know that Vanessa Hudgens and Austin Butler have broken up after almost nine long years of dating. But now the dust has settled and they're figuring out their new lives away from each other and Vanessa seems to be thriving already. Hey everyone, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News and breakups are hard no matter what. But when you've been together for nearly a decade, they can be even more difficult. Vanessa though is taking her recent breakup from actor Austin Butler in stride. The news broke just a few days ago on Us Weekly. They said, quote, Vanessa has been telling those close to her about the breakup. And though she was taking her time with letting her friends know and doing her breakup on her own terms, it seems that there might have been issues between the two of them for at least a few months. The last photo they posted together was them on Halloween. And since then, nothing. However, I did sit down with her on November the 16th of 2019 while she was promoting her new Netflix movie, The Night Before Christmas, and in that interview, she answered this. Who would be your dream celebrity crush to find under the mistletoe this holiday season? My boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to kiss anyone else. <laughs> but the two noticeably didn't spend the holidays together either, as evidenced by their social media. That's when fans of the two of them began to speculate that they might not actually be together anymore. In fact, Austin hasn't posted about his longtime girlfriend in, well, a long time. Since last July, to be specific, he shared a pic of them at the premiere of his film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But what might be the most telling clue of all was Vanessa's interview with Cosmo UK that hit stands earlier this month, where she opened up about the difficulty that she and Austin face being long distance at times. She said, quote, it's eight years this year. FaceTime, good communication, respect and trust are what keep us going. The longest we've been apart was four months. It sucks. You start hating hearing yourself say, I miss you, but if it's your person, you make it work. But since the news broke that this couple was no more, Vanessa has been pretty active on social media and in real life. She was first heard from on Instagram, sharing this selfie with a little fairy emoji as a caption. She seemingly wants people to know that she's doing well because she also shared a series of videos on her Instagram story of her joking around with the crew on set. In one video, she was laughing and singing along to Happy by Ashanti. Queens recognize queens. She also posted a video of her listening to Jill Scott's A Long Walk along with the handwritten caption, Vibe. A long walk around the park after that. I mean, listen to that laugh. She looks and seems so happy and we love to see it. Vanessa also attended the premiere of Bad Boys for Life earlier this week. On Tuesday, she shared a bunch of photos of herself from the premiere and again, she looks as happy as can be. She shared a screenshot that her friend Sarah Hyland took and matched it with that song I haven't been able to get out of my head since Hilary Duff released it in 2003. She also posed with Alexander Ludwig and Charles Melton taking a snap or two that we'll probably see in like, I don't know, six months, probably when Charles remembers to get those photos developed. So it seems like she's living her very best life for now and not letting the drama get to her. Her and Austin were in a long distance relationship for a big chunk of their time together. As two actors with busy schedules, they were often in different time zones, different countries even. Vanessa has been in a number of Christmas movies in recent years, most notably Netflix's The Christmas Switch and as mentioned earlier, The Night Before Christmas. In November, after that final photo of her and Austin was posted, Vanessa spent time in the UK filming the sequel to The Christmas Switch, The Christmas Switch Switched Again. Try saying that five times. Austin, meanwhile, is prepping his vocal cords to play Elvis Presley in a biopic about the singer that is in pre-production. He's currently in Australia where a large portion of the movie is being filmed. So they ultimately split because of their busy schedules. But is there a chance they might reconcile once they see each other again? Apparently, it's not out of the realm of possibility. A source told E! News that there's no bad blood between the two of them. They said that Austin and Vanessa are, quote, going to see what happens. They continued, quote, they have such a history and deep connection, they could find their way back to one another. Right now, she felt like he needed to go and be single and see if that's what he really wants. Though distance is ultimately what separated them, ironically enough, Vanessa spoke about how they made their long distance relationship work for so long. Hopefully, they can reconcile and figure things out quickly because some fans of Vanessa's are already trying to get her to rebound with Zach. Efron. The two dated a long time ago while they were both stars and lovers in High School Musical. Tweets began rolling in literally almost immediately after news of their breakup happened. Fans began making statements to Zach like, come get your woman, while the old ship named Zanessa began trending on Twitter. 
One fan wrote, Me finding out Vanessa Hudgens and Austin Butler broke up, but then realizing this is Zac Efron's chance to revive Vanessa. But right now, you guys, I want to turn it over to you. What do you think about all of this? Do you hope that Vanessa and Austin get back together in the future? Or are you one of those other people that are hoping her and Zac get back together? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're down there leaving comments, it is the perfect day, and I mean the perfect day, honestly, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't before, and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the news you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.